Abba Chen's kids and all his grandkids are where they are today because of his prayers and because of his faithfulness to God. Abba Chen would always tell us this during family prayer, um, whenever I would bring an issue to him, that there will always be waves that will push you and pull you in life, but you just have to hold on to God no matter what. Um, Abba Chen's example will always live in our hearts forever. Even being here right now, um, looking at this spot, this is where Abba Chen would sit um, on the Sundays he was here. And even when he was weak in his body, he would still worship God and he would always shout the loudest and pray the loudest. And I'll always admire Abba Chen for that. Um, even when he was still his weakest in, whether it be in our house or in the hospital, whenever he got a chance to share the word of God, he would always perk up and just be so joyous about it. And I'll always admire Upper Chin for that. He always put God first, and I feel like we could all live by that example. Um, because when you put God first, all the blessings will follow you. And that's an example in his own life, in his wife's life, in his kid's life. When it comes to the loss of anyone or death, I personally, I don't handle it well. I don't know how to address it or even know what the right words are to say, but I have a peace that he is in heaven with God and he is on the shore and he's rejoicing with, with God's people. Um, please keep my family in your prayers throughout this time, especially since um, my dad, my mom, and Joel will be traveling. Um, continue to keep us in your prayers. Um, praise God. Um, like Ashley said, um, you know, um, today was probably like the last day that we would have expected um, up to try to pass, and um, I am I'm the youngest uh, grandchild of um, the K and Joseph family, and I think m my biggest fear um, was always that because I was the youngest, I would um, be the one to s spend the least amount of time with them, and um, I do feel very blessed that um, these past couple of months and the three weeks that we were in India, we had the privilege of being able to take care of them and for them to be in our house and for it to experience um, our ICA family. Um, I, I do wish that I got to spend as much time as all of my older cousins got to spend with him and the closeness that they had. Um, but I will say, I do have a very um, specific memory of Upa Chan. It actually happened last year around this time. It was actually Dad's birthday, and we had we had gone to a restaurant to celebrate because, you know, we didn't know how much time we would have had with Upa Chan or Amaji as well. Um, and we had gone to Long Island City and we went and celebrated Dad's birthday. And um, while we were there, um, we were eating and with Upa with Chess condition, um, there were just times where he, he, when he was done, he was done. Um, and uh, he just, you know, wanted to walk around and get up from sitting too long. And um, while we were eating, um, Papa Chuck, he just gets up and he starts walking out. And I look at dad and I look at mom, I look at Ashley and I'm like, oh, where's he going? Like he has nowhere to go. And um, normally I, I usually got very afraid to even, you know, go to him or approach him because again, being the youngest, you know, I didn't have that closeness with him. I very, very rarely get the chance to understand or speak Malayalam. And so I just, I thought it as my chance to maybe somehow be with him. And I, I got up and I followed him and he just sat at the window and he was 
looking at the New York City skyline, and I just sat with him, and me and him, we just talked. Sorry. We just talked for like 30 to 45 minutes. And in that time, I feel like I caught up on a lifetime of time missed out being with him. And one specific thing I had asked him, I said, oh, but you like, you're looking at the city. Do you like New York City? And he was like, oh, Emily. And hearing up oh, just just speak in, in English, it's just like, it just made me so happy. But he, would, he was like, oh, Emily, like, I love New York City, you know. I love seeing the buildings. And he told me about the first time he saw New York City. And when we were having this conversation, he was actually around my age. And he had said that that was the first time that he saw New York City. And he said, Emily, when I came here, seeing all these buildings, seeing these places, and this was at the time when he was in the Merchant Navy, he had said that I knew that there were so many opportunities that this world had to offer. And he said that he knew that if he missed those opportunities, that he's glad that his children got to come to the United States and they got to be here and experience a life here and he got to be able to experience that in the last few months that he was here on earth and it is very bittersweet because as I enter into a new year this weekend we send him off to his eternal home and it's a blessing to know that we got to spend those last days with him that I'm so honored. It almost feels like it's as a, a passing of a baton um, that I get to enter into those years where he realized that he had many opportunities to go and preach the gospel, that I get to, our, our family as a whole gets to step into a new era of understanding what it means to lead by example. And I only hope that, um, we get to be able to do that as a family. And it's such a blessing to hear that he has blessed so many of people in my church family. And I hope that, you know, that never dies and that never goes away. Um, and so thank you for all of your love and your support. Thank you for cherishing our Upacha as much as we did. Thank you for welcome, welcoming him into this church. Um, there was a time where our it almost felt impossible to feel welcome in a church with our family and ICA has been such a blessing. And so we thank you for welcoming our family, especially our Abba Chana Maji, to this church and for taking care of them. And we're very, very grateful. Thank you. In the Oh, you know, I'm not going to 
God. I'm so thankful for your opportunity. And uh, our Apachin was a prayer warrior, and we are so much thankful for his life and his heart and his mind. And uh, thank God for enabling him to spend time with us back in Florida and also over here. And we are so much grateful for enabling him to preach for every occasion. And uh, thank you for using him. And um, we're going to miss him on that shore and um, keep us in our prayers as me and dad and mom are traveling to India for the funeral. So please help hold us in our prayers so that the Lord will comfort us. <laughs>